These decorative pieces help experts continue to put together the historic puzzle of Jerusalem from more than 2,500 years ago. We found a complete corpus of uh, small ivory plates, inlays that used to decorate large wooden furnitures, uh, for example, beds or doors or something like that. It's the first time that are found here in Jerusalem or in Judea. The discovery of some 1,500 tiny pieces happened at the sprawling City of David dig site in the ruins of a large palatial building that would have been in use as far back as 800 BC. And it means that Jerusalem was an important city, that the elite of Jerusalem were people of high rank, important enough to communicate with their peers at the elite of Assyria and other places in the empire. Israel Antiquities Authority archaeologist Yiftak Shalev says the items were most likely made outside of Israel. It's a very delicate art. You need to remember that ivory is most probably one of the most prestige and most expensive items in the world, more expensive than gold. And only few people knew how to work with it. Shalev says it's not clear how the ivory pieces arrived in Jerusalem. They might come as part of trade, or even more likely, came as gift between peer polity interaction. Maybe one of the elite families in Assyria gave these as gift for the local elite or something like that. Shalev says the structure where the tiny fragments were discovered is historic in its own right. We're digging one of the largest structures from the first temple period ever to be found in Jerusalem. It had two stories. We found the house destroyed. It was uh, burnt in huge fire, most probably during the destruction of Jerusalem by the Babylonian in 586 BC. Archaeologists also found seals in 15 broken jars that contained wine spiced with vanilla. Given these discoveries, Shalev says, it's clear the residents were part of elite Jerusalem and well connected to the royal family. Julie Stahl, CBN News, the City of David, Jerusalem.